this scheme of Brooklyn Line I'm on a roof in Annandale, Virginia that has a roof leak because of improper installation of the roofing materials. Now where the leak is settling is right down in this area here where the flat roof is. Now I noticed a few different things that's causing this leak. Now the contractor was here three different times. He originally had shingles and then he put the flat roof in material. But also you can see that he started to panic and instead of changing the valley he applied cement right along the entire length of the valley. And that's only masking the problem. Uh, what we need to do is remove all the roofing material at both sides of the valley. We'll install ice and water shield underneath and then we'll re-shingle that area. Now everything above the area where you have the leak, we need to focus on it because if we don't, we're going to be back. Now also there's another valley here that leads down to this valley, um, to the flat. And I noticed there's nails fastened too close to the valley center line. Now another problem is, uh, which the contractor didn't even think about looking at, is the flashing around the skyline. And here I'll show you an example. Right there. The water can get in through the keys and also the water can seep in through the side, go underneath the shingle and the water will seep right through the side of the nail. Eventually the water is going to settle directly below. But what's happening now is the water seeping through the side of the nail and it's traveling underneath the roof, it's hitting the valley, and then it's settling down at the lowest point, down at the bottom of the, uh, the flat roof. Um, so what we need to do is remove all the roof material completely around the skylight. Any flashing that's damaged is going to be repaired or replaced with new. Then we'll install ice and water shield completely around the skylight and then re-shingle the area. Now also there's another skylight that's about 20 feet away from where the water settled inside the home and they have the, exactly the same problem. Uh, here. You can see there's a nail exposed here. So again, the water will just get right through the key and seep uh, through the side of the nail. Now, another thing is if these shingles are fastened too close, uh, say there's a nail here, but when there's a heavy downpour or a melting snow, the water can get up underneath here and then leak inside the home. So we're going to do the same procedures as below. We'll install the ice and water shield here and nail very high. Um, now also this ridge vent is in direct alignment where you had the leak down below. So we need to remove a section of this ridge vent, install an ice and water shield underneath, not to close off the breather, and then reinstall the ridge vent. Um, this other skylight is not leaking, but it's going to uh, because it's the same thing. They put nails into the flashing. Okay. Let me see. Okay, right here. This nail should not be exposed. There should be no nails exposed at the flashing, but instead, it should, this flashing should be fastened underneath this one here. So this piece here overlaps the nail. And then once it's done that way, then there's no leaks. Overall, the skylights are great. It's just poor installation of the shingles around. Now, let me check this vent pipe because this vent pipe is also in direct alignment where you have the leak. Let's see what we got here. Uh, oh, it's all cemented down. Yeah, it's all cemented. Uh, as a precautionary measure, we're going to take up the shingles around the, um, the vent pipe flange, install ice and water shield around it, and re -shield. So with this leak, I'm focusing on everything. So this way it does not come back again. Uh, my name is Steve from Roofer 911, and we specialize in roof repair in Annandale, Virginia, and all areas of Northern Virginia. Thank you.